Hi, hey, Dr. Vincent. You got a second? Hi, Brian Orlowski. Of course I have a moment to talk. If there is a moment spared, it should be pontificated upon and elaborately spoken through. What's on your mind? Well, I've been hearing all of this discussion on student learning outcomes and assessment, and I'm unclear as to where I fit in. Not being a faculty member, and I don't touch students, I looked at the glossary, the diagram, the schematic, but can't seem to see how this relates to classified staff. Well, irrespective of the department or service area that you work in, you just have to peel the onion back by which to see that you also play an important role in improving student learning, which is the purpose of assessment at Mount San Jacinto College. Well, what is an SLO, and how does it impact me or the students that attend our school? SLO stands for Student Learning Outcomes and are simply referencing specific skills, knowledge, or attitudes that a student is expected to walk out of a course with. That's sweet. That makes sense. But I don't teach any courses. So how does that impact my processes or procedures? In IT, we focus on processes and procedures. So is this something that I should even think about? Well, irrespective of whether you teach a class or not, doesn't mean you won't have a tremendous impact on the student learn on the student's learning. We each have a pivotal role and component, or a cog, if you will, of a greater machine that is MSJC. We are the manifestation of the learning experience of our students. Right on. I didn't even think about that. You know, Dr. Vincent, you're starting to sound like one of those videos that the Office of Institutional Effectiveness puts out. I can't stand those videos and would never want to be in one of them. I love those videos. I would be all fired up to be included in one of those earth-shattering videos, the likes of which has never been seen in the history of the world. I just hope, if they utilize my likeness, that I would end up being some cool character rather than a ridiculous chat-wearing pig. Awesome. Where are my clothes? What happened to my goatee? This is embarrassing. Nobody will ever take me seriously again. This is outstanding. One could only be so lucky to appear in one of these most amazing videos. Check out my suit. So, we had started to peel back the onion, but where were we? You were talking about the impact classified and non-teaching staff have on students' learning. That's right. We must remember that learning doesn't just take place in the isolation of the classroom but is encompassed, if you will, in the entire experience here at Mount San Jacinto College. Every person that works at the school has a role in the learning experience of the students. The work that folks like Al, Casey and Jose do in keeping the campus clean creates a student-friendly environment that is conducive for studying. Oh, so you mean that people in maintenance like Daryl, Brian, and Scott aren't just good for go-kart races in the college golf carts? No, Brian, heavens no. By maintaining campus facilities and ensuring that buildings are safe, these folks do an amazing service for student success by providing a safe campus in which to learn. That's true. Even in the IT department, Catherine, Robert, Kim, and Annette impact student learning by keeping up with the technology. Without servers being maintained and new systems coming online, our students wouldn't be able to do online classes, or register. And our department definitely couldn't function without the support from classified staff. Now you are seeing the picture on a much grander scale than before, Brian. From Human Resources, Office of Instruction, Business Services, to the folks in Student Services, we all work to provide a comfortable, healthy, learning-centered environment for our students. Isn't that the point of student learning outcomes and assessment here at MSJC? That's right, the purpose of assessment is to improve student learning. Each unit must figure out how they impact student learning and look for changes that can improve it. That is the basis of administrative unit outcomes or AUO. I was wondering what AUO stood for. So the administrative unit outcomes are similar to the department learning outcomes that faculty work on, in that the A.U.O.S. help measure key functions or services of the unit. Even an area like mine, which doesn't actually touch students, still has an impact on student learning, although, it is indirect. That's exactly right Brian. You know, 
You mentioned touching students a couple of times and I want to reiterate the fact that we don't encourage any faculty or staff to actually, physically, touch students and unless a new study shows data that touching them will increase student learning, we will refrain from that practice at this time. Cool, I will keep that in mind. Thanks for the explanations Dr. Vincent. Now hopefully I can get out of this cartoon, get some clothes on, and get some work done to improve student learning at Mount San Jacinto College, the learning-centered institution that we are.